when I decided to buy the piano at the last minute, I just thought it would be fun. And so we bought a piano. Because nobody has a piano in their restaurant anymore. And if we're going to be where fine dining meets fun, we got to have things that make fun, right? Yeah, so business was really slow for, oh, um, I think about a year in, in Waimea. And literally, we sometimes we would do less than 20 covers. And um, times were pretty tough. It was, it, was, it was bumpy. And we weren't sure we were going to make it at all. And then, um, by chance, um, famous New York Times food writer, Johnny Apple, um, the most famous of all at that time, came in and ate lunch in our restaurant. He says, hi, I'm Johnny Apple. I go, oh, <laughs> and uh, I couldn't believe it. And the really cool thing was, he, he said, you know, we loved lunch. This was fantastic. He didn't know anything about us. He happened to be driving along and he was hungry. The biggest hang up was the cost of construction. And um, the cost of building this place more than doubled from the time we signed the lease until we actually started construction. So then we had to go back and value value engineer, cut some of the cost out of it. Then we had to redesign and resubmit for permit. And so that's really what took a long time. Here we only have uh, eight beers on draft, which is a real departure from Moku and Monkey Pot that have 36 beers on draft. Well, we're gonna limit the number of covers we do for the first several months. So um, and we'll, I think we're gonna keep it around 140 dinners. Uh, at least for the first few months. That's more than 10. <laughs> A lot more than 10. <laughs>